Hey guys, what is up? Oh my god. So, in today's video, I had said in my first video that I had gotten these wand brushes. This is what one looks like. They're like Harry Potter inspired, and I wanted to test them out and see if they would actually work. Because that would be pretty cool, because now I have these cool brushes that could potentially work. So that's fun. So before we, um... Put all this stuff in our eyes. I'm actually gonna do my whole entire face just so it could be like normal, like what I would do every single day. So I would be treating the product um, and the brushes as normal as possible. Probably, like, I think I look good, but I probably don't because I don't know what I'm doing. You can drag me in the comments if you want. I probably deserve it. So, that brush was good. And now, we're going to get to the actual testing of the brushes. The brushes came in this little bag, and on it, it says Storybook Cosmetics. Now, if you ever heard of this brand, like, Jeffree Star reviewed one of their eye palettes. It was kind of... Uh, so I'm interested to see if these brushes actually do something. I'm actually going somewhere after this, so if those are a flop, I have mine just in case. Ooh. I'll actually be using this and the Lunar Beauty Greek Goddess Holiday Palette. And I know at this palette, James, um, I watched the video, he said you start with like a a base on your eyes. He uses the MAC Pagely Paint Pot. I don't have that, so I'm just gonna whack on some concealer. You can probably tell that I brought you guys closer in because I wanted that special connection. No, I'm just kidding. I just wanted you guys to actually see my eyes while I am doing them. I will hold up the shades that I'm using and the brush that I'm using because it's all about the brushes, right? Right. So, I don't have a lot of options here to work with. I don't know how this is going to turn out. It is what it is. And it's for the sake of the video. First, I'm going to go with this rounded, um, more... I don't know. He has a little snake on it. little snake, a slither snake on it. Oh my god, use. I think I'm gonna go and use Mary first. I know, bold move, but we're gonna do it, so. Ooh, I have a feeling she's gonna be pigmented. All right, let's do this. We're gonna apply this all over my crease. She's cute. It's a cute shade. I love how I'm already messing up. That's fun. Wow. It's a really pretty shade though. I'm not gonna lie. A sister did that. Yeah. Don't you just hate when like one eye works out for you and the other one's just like, hi, I'm not gonna do what you want me to do. I love it. I love it so much. Okay, now I'm going to take, oh, who's this, this is Harry's one. I'm going to take this more of like a tapered um, pencil brush type moment. I think I'm going to actually start using the Litter Beauty palette. I'm going to go into um, Aphrodite. Um, it's messed up because you'll find out, video coming soon. Um, but yeah, it's a beautiful like deep shade. Very, very, very pigmented. You need to be careful with this. Yeah, see? Like, it literally went... You see that? Girl, she's there. So, I need to be really careful with this. Hopefully, this brush will help me out here. 
see, okay, the problem I'm having with this is I got two different um, sets of them, but they're basically, like, in both sets, there's, like, basically identical ones. So it's not a wide variety there that I can use, so this kind of sucks. Um, <laughs> this little pencil brush thing is not really helping me out. I was going to use this to blend everything together, but I guess I'll try and see what happens with this. I'm kind of scared. See, this is a weird brush, too. <laughs> like, I don't... What are you doing with your life? Come on, sweetie. Give me a little something here. This is already a flop. I'm obsessed with this shade. It's such a pretty shade. It's just like this deep, like, burgundy, magenta type moment. I'm just gonna go ahead and just put it all over my eye. Okay. I guess that worked. I'm gonna go ahead and bring it under my eye. This looks horrible. <laughs> Jesus, fix it. Oh, wait. Can we please talk about Miranda Sings' baby? Or Colleen Ballinger, as we know. Um, <laughs> I've been watching her for forever basically and i've been i followed all the way through her pregnancy up and you know like all the vlogs all the tea everything but she was just so excited to have this baby which like just really it's really cute um i was kind of upset that a lot of people were bashing her because she kept talking about how she was pregnant and you know she was complaining but like you know she was in a lot of pain and she even said like i'm very grateful and all this stuff if she wouldn't have said that i'd obviously like probably have stopped watching but um so that brush uh, it was fine i guess it wasn't the best but like i don't have a brush to blend with now so i'm gonna cheat and i'm gonna actually use one of mine because i cannot go out looking like this this is turning out horrible but you know what that's fine next step um i'm gonna try to use this again I don't know how this is going to work. I'm going to delve back into my James Charles palette and use Boutique, which is like a burnt or like a burgundy type thing. Um, This one right here. Dust it off. And then just go a little bit in the inner corner. Now to finish off the look, I am going back into my Greek Goddess palette using the shade Cirque. I think that's how you pronounce it. This one right here. I'm going to try to use one of these flat top brushes but when i was playing with this palette i've noticed that it's much better using a finger but i'm gonna give this brush a chance will it work let's find out a few moments later it's not working i mean you can see that you can see the shimmer but it's depositing more like the glitter in it or whatever it's in it that's making it shine more than the actual color so i'm gonna use my finger and i got time for that mess okay yes ma'am that's what I want. Yeah. Finger works a lot better. And it probably isn't just the brush. It's probably just the product itself. It just um, applies better with a finger because that's just how it is. It isn't just, you know, this palette that does that. It's all the palettes, probably. I'm going to go back with this brush and blend under my eyes. Just bring a little bit more color there. Okay. It probably looks so bad. Oh my god. What if it actually looks bad? Who cares? Not me. <laughs> so I like a little pop in inner corner. In this collection, tiny version of the flat of the, um, what's it called? I don't know. I'm gonna dip into shade Athena. It's like a pinky-ish shimmer type thing. And I'm just gonna pop it in my inner corner. Cute. That actually worked pretty well. And the last step, I'm gonna use my Benefit Roller Lash Mascara to apply mascara. Woo! I love this mascara so much. I mean, I already have long eyelashes as it is, but they look like fake eyelashes. Like, all right, I think that's done. Do you guys want a closer view? Side profile. That eye is just disgusting. It's just, oh my God. They just both look bad. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, so I gave these brushes Hmm. A solid six and a half. So, I mean, it's still pretty cool. Like, the wands on the ends and stuff like that. It's still pretty cool. I mean, they're okay. They're not, like, the best brushes there are. But, you know, I you could probably get by them. It's, like, the same five brushes, like, in two packs that I got. So, that's kind of a bummer. But, you know, you get what you get and you can make a fit. So, not too bad, but not great either. <sighs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please comment, um, like, and 
hit that little thing that says subscribe on it if you like me. If you don't, that's fine. A lot of people don't. You're not the only one anyways. But if you do, please comment, like, and even share this video. That would make my day. Even my life. Anyway, I hope you're having a wonderful day or night, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!